Greetings, everybody. Welcome to IRS Intrepid Radio Sig Signals. Um, just referencing a couple of videos here. Hopefully, I can do this fast enough. Genghis Khan. Okay, so the actual name means great leader. Khan would be king. Genghis would be great. Khan, they all came from the same family. There is a whole group of them. The father, then the son, and then the grandson was a Khan, and then there was an Asian Khan. Tartarian civilizations, okay? So I'm just going to reference this 20 seconds of this video, and then hopefully I can line up the other one quick enough. It's just zero. It's not there. I mean, the Mongolians are very simple shepherds. And in recent years, when more and more of them became literate, to their great surprise, they learned from the Westerners that they had been ruling the world at one point. They had no clue about it before that. Yeah, all those monuments of Genghis Khan in Mongolia were erected after they heard about it from the West, about their history. They don't have any legend stating that they have ever ruled anything, actually. Yes, they did have great Khans, but those were the Khans of Tartaria that they were always a part of. As far as any of the Mongolian tribes ruling continents, that is just non-existent in the history. Or All right, so <clears throat> he says it's non-existent in their history. Um, so just trying to line up this next one here, where he... Uh, the uh, Pharaoh show, he's talking about the Brachy, uh, self, uh, Brachy cephalactic. So it's a white head that, that they would have uh, that would be pharaonic, he calls it. And the reasons why the Jews have this is because their women were raped by the Pharaohs. That it's not a... It's not so a far normal. I've been giving... It's not a normal situation, and actually, the it was the Nazis of the 30s that went and measured all the Tibetans and everything. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of uh, stories about that. It's well documented that they went looking for this shape head, and they realized that they were from elsewhere, that they weren't European. Here's the bloodline. You can see all of Switzerland. And the outlying areas of every other country is um, this shaped head. So, anyway, he goes on about this. But really what I wanted to show you also was what he says here was that they came in and just... This is where the Swiss come from. This is why they don't want to belong to the European community. And I tell you, they rule over the European community with their Templars. So, the skull formed because they mix with the Mongolians, the Swiss did, concerning the uh, craniometry. I mean, it's there. These are solid proofs, eh? They're very, very solid. This is where they come from. This is where they came from. So anyway, he says that, and then uh, he says also minutes later that they came in and just essentially slaughtered everybody. Um, and uh, so, I mean, if you look at, um, where was this, Switzerland, 1855, what do you get? You get some coins, you get some drawings. There was photography at this point. So, I mean, where am I going with this? But, uh, you know, it's a complicated world. That's all I'm saying. Look at their architecture. It's actually Tartarian. And the more you look at, uh, if you go uh, burn, or even, uh, say, let's just say 1900. You get these Tartarian buildings with the Mongolian fighter at the top. And then we're figuring out now all these symbols here uh, are Tartarian. And um, I mean, I could go on and on uh, about it, but this looks like a free energy thing because you've got 
a fountain dripping into a well, which creates an upflow of air, which could be, that could be a free energy device right there. Uh, just a fountain running into a deep well. The water breaks apart at one point and it causes an updraft, which you can then turn a wheel using that. So um, anyway, the more you look into this, uh, the more evident it is to me that this is uh, definitely Tartarian um, territory. You know, um, they obviously rolled in here and like he said, they just killed everyone and took over. That's how this one looks like it's on fire. You know, they renamed all the buildings, just like all the other countries. Um, you know, and with everyone's history is jaded and doesn't work, right? I did a video already, if you want to reference this, I already referenced this photo. That's actually where all the banks are, right there. Burn. And, uh... Their crappy guns, etc. But um, there was actually one that showed a lot of the houses um, with the free energy beacons, um, and they were actually everywhere. So it was pretty astounding. I showed my wife and I said, Where do you think that would be? And she said, oh, Russia. And no, it was Switzerland. So go figure. Don't know. But the more you look into it, a lot doesn't add up with the history, let's say. So I've already gone through a lot of these images, but um, looks like it was taken apart. The, the, the real free energy device that was up there is now gone um and then the more you look into the clocks you see that the uh there's griffins all over them um if you go uh, switzerland town clock okay i covered this one already um but if you start looking into this, you start noticing, wait a minute, they saved that building, but like, what's with the roof? See? So they didn't knock it down because everyone had some use for this building. And then it sort of seems like, I don't know, like they just tacked up their own little signage on top of that and called it their own. So, this does not look Swiss to me, so, you know, think about that, I guess. And then the more you look into these clocks, you're going to see griffins all over them. See if I can find one for you. Uh, was it this one I was looking at now? Should have saved the image, but uh, sorry about that. I thought it might have been this one. Hmm. They all start looking the same. They're mostly plain. But some of them are very ornamental. And they can't really explain what all this means, except, you know, they usually take one piece of it away. Um, wow, look at that. It's almost glowing, eh? It's just... Whew. So, anyway, that's my video, I guess, for today, guys. Um, yeah, I appreciate it if you guys would share it or, uh, you know, pass these videos along. I'm not that big on promoting it. I'm, I can't really do it well. But, um, yeah. I would think that Switzerland would be in the heart of Tartaria. That's my assumption, my assertion. Take care.